Hi, my name is Gabriel Dodegan. I'm the Land System Scientist with the Moore Center for Science at Conservation International. And today I would like to walk you through a very nice geospatial tool that we developed in partnership with the Colombia Ministry of Environment, IDEAM, and WOCAT to help decision makers to achieve land degradation neutrality in Colombia. First of all, I would like to give you an introduction to the general interfa graphical interface of the tool. So on the left-hand side, we have the panel where users can interact with the tool and select which language they would like to interact with the tool, the area of interest. So for instance, they can select the different departments within Colombia and once selecting the department, which municipality they would like to focus. And also they can select, for instance, here we have the boundaries of the departments. We also have boundaries of municipalities. We have a database of sustainable land management best practices, key biodiversity areas, and so on. So users can very dynamically select which spatial layers they would like to visualize. They also have access to the different versions of the SDG 1531 indicator based on the different land productivity dynamics sub-indicator currently available. So for instance, we have JRC, TransEarth, and FAO WOCAT versions for land productivity dynamics. And therefore we have these different versions for SDG 1531 final indicator. And users also have access to the multi-criteria analysis where they can cross, for instance, here, the highlighted pixels in purple represent areas that are croplands falling within 300 meters and 1500 meters above sea level of elevation. And that also crosses with the improvement class under the reporting period SDG 1531 when using the trans earth land productivity dynamics. Users also have access to different layers, national uh, data representing land cover classes for the year of 2000 and 2018, for instance, and how the change over this 18 year period impacted the land condition on the ground. And on the right hand side, we have a series of graphs and charts representing the variable of interest. So here, for instance, we have land cover change from 2000 to 2018, and users can also expand this map, this chart, excuse me, to uh, interact with it and see what, are, what were the extent of um, land cover representing three areas, and also for the year of 2018, grasslands for the two, steps in time and so on. Users can also interact with the different indicators, uh, SDG 1531 indicator versions here and visualize all the maps. And when they hover over each one of these bars, they're gonna know which variable it's, it is representing and also the extent and percentage of each one of these classes. So we hope you, we f you find this, to, this geospatial tool very interesting and we look forward to hearing for, from you on, the, on your feedback. So please reach out to us with any comments, suggestions and uh, critics you might have. Thank you so much. See you next time.